as I'm looking at these scans, I'm thinking about artificial intelligence, I'm thinking about what it is that we're doing as radiologists. A lot of what we do is really just judgment. A lot of it is really just filtering out the noise and getting to the, the decent part of something. And it's something we all do in all aspects of our life. You know, we listen to the news, we listen to information about coronavirus and other, other things going on in the world. And um, so much of the information we get, so much of the news we get is really a lot of noise. There's a lot of, there's a lot of unimportant stuff mixed into that information. And part of our job as human beings, um, intelligent people, is to sort out that noise and get to that important part. And that's really what we're doing, what I'm doing right now with looking at these lung screening CTs. There's a lot of just noise out there. There's a lot of just stuff in the lungs that, you know, it's not quite a nodule, but it's there and it needs to be sorted out. And um, you can't simply just call everything a nodule, but you can't simply ignore everything either. Um, you have to make judgments. And I think with this artificial intelligence uh, concept, it's something that it's, I think there's always going to be a limit in what it can do. Uh, because humans can form judgments, and I really don't think AI can. Um, AI is a little bit of a misnomer. Um, I've studied a little bit of AI. There's a lot of free machine learning courses out there, so you can learn about AI. Um, AI doesn't learn in the traditional sense. When they say learning, they mean that they are really, they're fitting to a curve and they're decreasing the uh, delta between, you know, the function that they're trying to create and the uh, you know the data set you know they're basically decreasing the error rate that's what they call you know learning um, that's not really learning you know there's there's no mind in there that's actually learning and thinking and processing like a human um, human beings can learn human beings can uh, adapt to change um, we can basically start to make judgments how do you make judgments um, you get things wrong and you get things right. And that's really how you uh, obtain good judgment. And really being a radiologist is all about judgment. Um, you learn how to get things wrong. In residency and fellowship, you're corrected by your superiors. Um, in practice, you might get corrected by you know bad outcomes or missed findings or potentially lawsuits. But really, it's the same thing. Human beings learn and gain judgment by making mistakes, correcting errors, um, dealing with the emotional response of a negative outcome, of a bad outcome, of a mistake. That's really how we learn, create judgment. It's that judgment that makes us useful when we're looking at medical imaging, doing procedures, doing surgery, uh, practicing medicine. It is something that the computers will never ever have, no matter how much time and effort they put into AI and machine learning and all this um, computer science, the computers cannot learn judgment because the computers cannot form or deal with emotions. And that's really what the basis of a human learning is, uh, creating judgments. You know, we need that emotional response. So, you know, artificial intelligence is obviously going to be there. There's going to be a lot of talk about it because it's just a popular theme and it's something that's interesting and people want to talk about but there's gonna be a limit to what it can do. AI does not really learn. Really what it does is it curve fits. You know, it, it creates a function and that function is derived from labeled data sets and then they try to ap apply that function going forward to new data sets. And um, I think it definitely, it can get things right. But again, it's getting it right because it's fitting a curve because it's creating a function, you know, based on certain parameters. Um, human beings can think and adapt to new situations, to new data. We, we know that computers make mistakes. Have you ever been online and you realize you're looking at a feed that's created by an algorithm and all of a sudden they'll put something there that really wasn't supposed to be there for you, right? And the reason for that could be something very simple. It could be that the data that created that, um, that outcome was just slightly off. It was just, just, just a little bit unrepresentative of the data set that trained the AI. And that's all it takes. See, human beings, we don't get tripped up like that. We can see a new piece of information and try to understand it, try to adapt to it. Um, again, that's the part that the computers are missing. 
Um, it's interesting that a lot of this information on machine learning, including the, including the, um, you know, the problems with machine learning, are available on courses. There's actually very good videos on YouTube by AI researchers, and they talk about all the limitations of artificial intelligence and machine learning. And um, you know, a really, you know, it's a simplistic way to look at it is that they're they're curve fitters, and it's not really a learning system it's um uh, it's again it's creating a function so um i think if you want to stay ahead of the game as a radiologist as a physician keep making good clinical judgments judgments use your instincts and you know keep separating out the noise from the signal and that's exactly like i said what i'm doing right here right now so that's what i'm doing